madness. Wendell, what's going on? Uh, same old, same old. <laughs> what have you been doing in there? Are you hyper, right? Yo, uh, I've been playing DayZ. It's it's kind of fun when you play with a group, but you have to have your own chat server. Yeah, there's a lot of kids at home that would love to be playing DayZ right now, but they can't afford to buy a computer. Well, I'm here to tell you that you can't afford to buy a computer. You just have to sell your PlayStation 3 and your Xbox 360 and a few games. And you know those big cardboard stand-ups, you know, that you, you, that you pay like $800 for? Just stop doing that. You know, like the ones with uh, Master Chief and all? You, you you buy these, like, ridiculous things? Don't do that, and then you can afford a PC. And we've got the Steam s Summer Sale going on right now, and it's just insane. Yeah, with the Steam Summer Sale, I'm pretty sure that they can destroy the entire console industry just with one fell swoop. If only more people knew about it. Yeah. Let me just preface this before I get into this by saying, listen, I don't have anything against console gaming. Uh, if you guys can keep a console and a PC at the same time, by all means do so. I'm going to make a prediction. The future is going to be on the PC, or it's going to be on Android. Who knows? Anyway, let's get started. Well, I'll just... Oh, I'll, go. I'll, I'll float something there. Yeah. And that is that, that, that uh, Valve did announce that they're working on a Steam client for Ubuntu. Yes. And that just came out this morning. Yes. They're, they've, they've started their Linux blog, so we're not going to be needing Windows soon. They've got Left 4 Dead running. Uh, and they're going to have all of the Source Engine games running. And most of the new games that are coming out are Linux compatible. The rest of the story there is Linus Torvalds ruffled some feathers by saying that NVIDIA is not really working with them. And so now they're actually like the the, the wheels have been greased. And so there might be <laughs> He good. said more than not working with. <laughs> yeah. I think he had some gestures and everything to go with it. Okay, so let's replace your console. I've got an option for you guys. We can either do the AMD APU, which is an integrated system, but I'm also going to give you an Intel option here as well because the Intel option is more upgradable. It's more future-proof. So let's start with the AMD. We start, we're going to grab the AMD A83870K. That's a 3 gigahertz quad-core CPU with an integrated 6670 GPU. 6670 is not extremely fast. It'll allow you to play games like... I don't know, Crisis 1. Uh, you can play Battlefield 3, but you're going to be playing at like 25 frames per second on medium quality. Um, that That's that's just the way it is. That's But it's still, it's it's integrated. And there you have it. For the motherboard, uh, Biostar TA75M socket FM1. Uh, now, the reason I'm going for this one is because most of the socket FM1 boards do not have SATA 6. This one has six SATA 6 ports and two USB 3 ports. It'll also take up to 32 gigabytes of DDR3 at up to 2,000 megahertz. So... I like that one. I'm going to stop right there. That's the AMD option. The rest of the system will be the same, but here's the Intel option. If you want to go Intel, the nice thing about Intel is you can grab a socket LGA 1155 motherboard, and it's going to be uh, future-proof in the sense that it's compatible with Sandy Bridge and Ivy Bridge CPUs. So here's what I would do if I'm going for Intel. You can grab an Intel Pentium G860. That's a 3 gigahertz dual core. You cannot overclock this thing but it really doesn't matter because it's already 3 gigahertz and it's $89. And you're going to be putting most of your money into the graphics card. So grab that one. Um, and, and what's really interesting about this is even though it's dual core, uh, in, in applications that aren't threaded that well, it really kills the AMD. Just kind of strange. Uh, when one thread compared to one thread with the AMD, just it's just faster. And in games, it is, it is a little bit faster. For the motherboard, Gigabyte GAH61MAD3V. Um, now, I like this one because it does have two SATA 6, and it does have two USB 3 on board. And uh, that one's 69 bucks. So that's the option if you're going Intel. And there's pros and cons to each way. We're going to go ahead and continue with the system, though. Memory, I'm grabbing the 880 XPG. Uh, it's a gaming series, 8 gigabytes of memory. That's only $48.99. It's DDR3 1600. And the 1600 megahertz memory is very important for the AMD APU. Very important. Because the AMD APU is using system memory. If you use slow memory, it's going to slow down your frame rate in games like crazy. It doesn't really matter so much if you're using slower memory on the uh, Intel Pentium G, but that's how it is. Now, for the hard drive, the OCZ Agility 4, the 64 gigabyte version right now, is like $63. It's, it's really nice and fast. Can't beat that. Um, if you want some options... I also like the 60 gigabyte uh, 880 drive. It's a little bit faster than the uh, Agility 4, but it's a little bit more expensive. So if you guys can swing it, grab the A data. Um, I believe it's the SX900 60 uh, gigabyte drive. I like that one a little bit better. But we're getting a solid state drive with this. It's only 60 gigabytes, but I'm sure you got another hard drive somewhere. You can cannibalize one of your old systems or something. Now for the video card, uh, Gigabyte Radeon HD 6670. Now I'm going to use this. A video card if you're using the AMD A83870 it's gonna run in crossfire so you're gonna get a huge boost in speed if you're using the Intel Pentium 
uh, G860, uh, you, you're going to you know get decent speed with the 60, 670. It's not that fast. I mean, if you can if you can swing a, a 550Ti, go ahead and spend the extra money, but we're trying to keep it cheap, so we're going to use the same graphics card for both. Um, but at around the $400 mark with the AMD APU, you're basically running on two 6670s, and that's pretty nice. Uh, for the case, we're just going to grab a, a cheap Rosewell. It's, it's not bad. Uh, it's Rosewell R218P-BK-450 that comes with a 450-watt power supply. Um, it's not 80-plus efficiency, so I'm not going to guarantee it, but we're keeping it under 400 right here, so that's all I'm going to say there. Optical drive, I'm grabbing a Sony for $16.99. It's the Sony, I believe it's Sony OptiArc, 8728-0S-0B. Total for the AMD is around 400 about $405, factor in the shipping and everything else. Um, with shipping, you should be able to get it for around $407. If you keep your eyes peeled for uh, deals and specials and coupons, you can probably save about 10 or 20 bucks. Yeah, because right now is a really good time. Uh, for the Intel, it's only $385. So you may be able to get a 550 Ti with that Intel, and that would be really fast, probably even faster than the two AMDs. And the Intel is more future-proof, but... The AMD, I do want to mention one more thing about the AMD. If you're someone who likes productivity, uh, like, you know, doing video editing, that sort of thing, the, for $400, the AMD does beat the hell out of the Intel in any um, any application that, you know, will allow multiple threads, like video editing and even encoding and that sort of thing. It just pretty much doubles the performance because it's got four threads running instead of two. So there you have it. Oh, one last thing. The if the AMD A83870, it's, it's 3870K. It has an unlocked multiplier, and it is very easy to overclock. It, it runs at 3 gigahertz, but you can push that to 3.6 pretty easily. You may want to get an external uh, or an extra cooling unit, but not too bad at all. I was really surprised. The Pentium G is really fast, even though it's... It's only two cores. Yeah, it's two cores. That's all you get. And, and no, no. Overclocking is absolutely no. They don't even let you do it. It's just like, uh-uh. Can't do it. But it's, it's fast enough for me. So there you go. If you guys have any questions, inbox at techsyndicate.com. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, yeah, check out our other uh, build videos. we got a $600 build video coming up. The link's going to be on the, on the screen in just a minute. Uh, $1,200 this, this month build video. And also this month, we're going to be doing a $3,200 ridiculous, insane system. So check out all those videos. See you guys next time.